Hello everybody, it's Isaac Waluigi Big Mac and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we, uh, last time we, uh, got Wizard out of his hypnotized state. We saved Sybil, and we also, uh, saved Peeper out of his hypnotized state. Now we have to figure out what to do with Spence. Uh, we recently picked up a spray can, as you may see here. So, might. Uh, ooh, you know what? We can probably do the graffiti here. This could use a little improvement. Yep. There we go. <laughs> hey, hey, you messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. Well, let's head back to the office. You, you can see, you can see where this is going. Ball. Open window. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. There we go. <laughs> now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. Now that's done. Take anyway. control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Wh where am I? Who are you? Don't worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh, no. Quick, follow that soda popper. Yep. Now we, now we gotta chase him down. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. Watch out! Oh! Oh man! <laughs> wait, 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 we can just drive on the sidewalk. What was I thinking? Why did I think of this? That's well. This is an easy way to. Uh... Okay, you know what, let's, let's, it's easier if I just... Stop! We just want to talk! Really? Take right, the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! All right. Hey. There we go. Got him. Shoot. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? <laughs> Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. That's also what you get for running away, so, uh... Yeah. Monkey! Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. <laughs> Locked. Speaker. I wonder why he's playing that exceedingly creepy music out here. 
fix the door. This one's very locked. Uh, form readers. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Ibo poster. The power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Hmm. Out, out my way, uh, Max. Afraid. I think someone was sitting here. And leaking. Whoa, Looks man. like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Hmm. I'm sure we'll never run into him. What's Not Marquis? much of a secret, is it? Hmm. The black hole. What's a black hole, Sam? It's a star that's been crushed under its own weight, destined to desolate darkness for all eternity. Yeah, I don't think there's something else we can do here. So, I think we might have to... Where are we going, Sam? Oh, actually, hold on. I see something. Nowhere. Never mind. Admission form. There we go. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. All right, well, now we can drive back. Where are we going, Sam? Let's head back to the office. Back to the office. And let's head to Sybil's. You can see where this is going. Liver Nuns live at the Big Low Ice Rink. All right, let's talk to Sybil. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know. I could psychoanalyze you. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? Bunch of bacteria playing basketball, pigeons on a marquee. It's the St. <laughs> Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? Hmm. A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? Twenty nuns with machine guns. Yeah, fuck it. Twenty nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. And this one? An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. You seem fairly focused on cars, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Hmm. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Tumbleweed? 
Whoa, God. don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm, violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Crown. Hmm. Lamp black. Interesting. Comb. Promenade. I see. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe. But people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Right. It did. Okay, let's, let's try, some, try more. some more free association. That okay. will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Right. Sure, yeah. go ahead. Cow. Cow. We just say... Hullabaloo. What an unusual response. How about this word? Drill. Drill. There it is. There it is. There it is. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just Dry do or say whatever comes naturally. Dryer. And then we just say... Sample size. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrists. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. There we go. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Alrighty, let's try... Can we do some more ink ink plots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Good. We have to take look a look at this and tell me what you see. Alright, so is that thing... Pennies on the eyes of a dead mind. Let's try pennies... Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? What's that character? I would pigeons on the marquee at the man's the, Chinese uh, theater. Yeah. And this? An autograph. An autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. I think I got it. And this one? And then the blotchy flash. Yeah, blotchy that thing. That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Okay, judging by these, you seem fairly hung up on fame, but not so badly that I would characterize it as an obsession. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession All right, so I didn't do it quite right. So, let's... Can we do some more ink let's, let's try those it again. are entertaining. Sure. And, Let's and we, take and another we, look we at your these, uh, conversations obsessions. So many times that, take a look uh, at this and tell me what you I see. I can probably just talk over the dialogue now. All right, so pennies on the eyes of a dead mind. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mind. This one has mime. to be pennies on the eyes of a dead mind. Now, how about this one? Uh, let's try SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. Or opulent, sorry. And this? Uh, this an autograph written This one should Braille. be an autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? Uh, cheering crowd. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? And flashing bulb. That blotchy thing that a flash bulb does to your eyes. You seem fairly focused on fame. But it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm. Maybe. But people with APD are known for their obsession right, so with that, fame. So... 
Let's try the, let's try the dream analysis Can you really first. learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. Ooh, we get to see a cutscene. My dreams all my dreams always start in the office. But this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Let's see. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Uh... Needles. It was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? Uh. Let's, let's keep needles. Let's keep it, as a it was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? All right. Let's see. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. All right. I oh, remembered oh. that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm. All right, you what? Someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? All right, you what? Was that the end of your dream? I, I forgot yep. what I needed to then do. Then I with woke the dream, up screaming. So. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. Mm, oh, okay. Okay, well, I figured out how to do it. Can we do now. some more Let's ink, ink Those are again. entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me yeah, what let, you let's see. Let's give it one more go. Ah, there it is. I missed Susan it. Susan Lucci holding I'm an Emmy. Tomorrow. I see. Because I, 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 I how about did not one? see the Emmy there. Let's see. Pigeons um, on the market. Chinese, at Chinese, Man's theater Chinese theater works more for fame than the mansion. And this? This one it has to be auto yeah, autograph. Uh, written in Braille. Autograph in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? Uh, yeah, cheering crowd. Of, A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. Yep, cheering crowd of lanky and albinos. This one? Then the, the blotchy that thing, blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. There it is. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. And... I'd like to tell you about another yeah, mundane but strangely uh, compelling dream I had. Is there any other thing? All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires. So we have to do Perfect. something shown age. So. Okay, tell me what happened. Lush vegetation. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. Donut box? I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? A birthday it cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm. Someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? Television? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Let's I realized see. there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Let's see. It was me. 
You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Alrighty, let's see. Camera, lottery ticket, parking meter. Hmm. Hey, we're trying... Let's see. Wait, wait a minute. As a matter of fact, the closet was bare. Totally shameless, then. Can't say I'm surprised. Let's see. Wait a minute. Pierce. I realized there was someone else Aging in the with room Pierce. with me. Oh, who it, was your special we need, guest? We need, we need Max instead of Max. ourself. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend... You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, there I is. mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. There we go. Making progress, wow, folks. Making it progress. it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. Yep, we're not actually crazy. We're only acting crazy to stop a crime. You know, undercover stuff. But, yep, let's just, let's just drive over there. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. There we go. Now... Now we can submit the form. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Alrighty, let's let's stop this guy. Hmm. A stage. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Ah, boy. Well, there... Well, there's this... Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I think boy. we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I oh, never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. 
They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. I don't know about you, but he's the Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery uh -oh. Man. That ain't good. What? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. <laughs> Too far. Okay, so... So what we gotta do... Wait for it. Oh, don't even try. There we go. I love that part. There, yep. That, that was fairly simple. If, if, if you remember that Bosco... Uh, uh -oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> God, Holy got it. brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. They're ready. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam! I've got an itch I can't scratch! Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute Ugh. little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer! Ooh, just let me at him! Well, let's... Well, let's start with the TV first. It's Brady Culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> it's Brady Culture on TV. All right. Let's see. Well, I have my gun. Let me try shooting the TV out. <laughs> shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. Uh, shooting TV stars make them dead. Uh, what happens if we shoot uh, Max? I don't want to pop him. Didn't hurt. <laughs> anyway, let, well, let's let's try the uh, let's try the light let's try the light bulb. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. Well, let's. It's Brady culture in a light socket. The light bulb represents wisdom, and here's a little now. Brady Culture is a perfect 10. No, he isn't. He's a zero. I hate him. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable for all eternity. Well, I know what to do for that one. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. All right. It's just a dream, Sam. All right. Okay, I think I need Max for that. Let's see. Jesse James hands. 
weird. Let's see. What else could it work? Smoke. Strange. Let's see. One way sign. Oh, I know. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> That was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Hmm. Well, correct. Enigmatic. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Yes. You, you gotta use my old brake power for this. So we know. So we know this uh, flips everything. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. All right. I think what we need to do, we need to stand right here. Well, let's. I think we have to shoot the gun at the one-way side. There we go. Yep. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! There we go. Okay, we got that. Use Max or to get his body back. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Let's see. Let's wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity. No. Yep. Oh Look. yes, that's much better reception. Okay, so that's that's two. Let's see, cliffhanger. Brady Culture. Oh, I'm sure that's going to do anything. Please. Cliffhanger on the closet door. That doesn't even work in a dream. Okay. Queer. What queer? Odd. Interesting. What? I will be universally loved by every Hey Brady Cheese. What is it, there fool? It is. I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. There we go. No, the cheese must stand alone. And another one bites the cheese. And the last one should be pretty easy. We just have to find. Uh... Oh, we just have to find a light switch somewhere. Well, well that would be the most ideal way to. Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? You want to name every single one of your children after me. Not even in a dream. Not even in a dream. That's not going to work. Oh, God. I am way over time, am I? Shit. Well, then. I think we're going to be stuck here in Sam's dream. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this dance, episode. Dance, puppet, the... dance. Piss, piss off, Brady Culture. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing because I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and everything. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to... I love my hair. We're going to punch this guy's too. lights out. Ugh. Ugh. Well, have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.